guys, welcome to the video. I'm Cami, and this is a foundation wear test video. So it is just after 2.45 in the afternoon, and I'm going to try to wear this foundation for eight hours and tell you how it does on my skin. That way you can make an informed decision about maybe which color to buy or to buy this foundation for your skin type. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying out the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 foundation. It's a 24-hour foundation. This foundation was $13.99 at CVS and you get one fluid ounce. This is the color Golden Tan, so it's number 857. I found it in CVS just before the weekend. Maybe it was like December 22nd, something like that. I do really enjoy the last foundation that I bought. This is the True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I'm in the color T10. I bought it more than once, so I really, really like it. Um, I also did a foundation wear test on this product, so if you're interested, go ahead and click in the link down below. That video will be there for you. I'm gonna put on my normal moisturizer and primer. I am hoping to go outside, so let's go ahead and do some sunscreen as a little bit of a moisturizer. This is the Trader Joe's Enrich sunscreen. Later in the video you will see that my hair is styled and I think I'm going to make that into a whole different video so also check the description box down below for that video. I have combination oily skin and primer is a must for me. I want to finish this up. I've used this in a few videos. This is the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. The point of primer is to help your makeup stay on your face. And I went to the CoverGirl Instagram page and I did not see that this foundation was on their page at all. The package says that it's new, like I believe, okay, this is new. So I don't know if they just debuted the product in store and that was it. And I just don't know where else to find information about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys like what's on the bottle just in case you're interested because this might be brand new to some of you, just like it is to me. So it says, full coverage SPF 15, that's very good. So it's a sunscreen liquid foundation. I really, really like that. Primer, concealer, and foundation in one for a naturally flawless finish 24 hour wear sweat proof humidity proof covers imperfections and evens out skin tone feels comfortable lightweight and breathable on the skin and it's supposed to be full coverage so this promises a whole lot of things also I don't know who's wearing their face makeup for 24 hours but if you are taking a red-eye flight somewhere and you have to be somewhere in the morning and you want to be semi ready Maybe this will be good for you just for that reason. My favorite way to apply a foundation is with a wet beauty sponge. I also want to try for you guys one side with a sponge, the other side with a brush. So I'm going to use the Morphe M406 Duo Fiber Brush. I've literally only used this twice, so there's not too much product on here that's going to interfere with the CoverGirl product. So this is exactly how the matte made packaging looks when you open it up. It's got like a pump. I love a pump. It's the least messy type of applicator for foundation. I love it, love it, love it. What I normally would do is just do this on my face, turn it, and then you're ready. So, okay, that is one full pump all the way down to the bottom. So. I'm not left-handed, why am I trying to do that? And where's my ring? I need to put my ring on. I take my ring off so that I can put on lotion <laughs> and then I forget to put it back on. Okay, so, so far, let's zoom you guys in. So far, I really think this is a good color match. Let's move this down here, see what happens. So I had this mark here. I also have a couple of marks here. So, so far this looks like really natural, but also matte at the same time. Yeah, so, so far I can still see a little of the blemishes here. I can still see this here. They're kind of showing through like a purple color rather than brown and Concealer can fix the color. So that's one pump on one side of my face. I definitely think the second side of my face needs a whole pump itself. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna use my Morphe 
M406 dual fiber brush. So here you can see like brush strokes. Um, but it, when it dries down, you can't see brush strokes. So, so that doesn't bother me so much. To be honest with you guys, I don't see a difference between the two sides. The sponge and the brush, they ended up achieving the exact same effect on my skin. At this point, with two pumps of foundation, I can still see a little bit of the discoloration on my cheeks. So I think I'm gonna go ahead with one more pump of the foundation. I'm going to disperse this all over my face and I'm just gonna use the method I prefer right now. So I'm gonna take my sponge and go in the key areas that I can still see blemish marks and see if I can build up the coverage. This is definitely a full coverage foundation. I do think I need a concealer that's gonna help uh, balance the skin tone that I have going on, because I can see that my skin in some areas is showing a little bit purple, and that's really, really small. I'm talking about where I had the blemishes that you could see. This is a matte foundation that dries naturally, so it's not like a satin where you have like a sheen all over your face or something like that. Like I said earlier, we're gonna do all of the makeup and the hair and wear this for hopefully eight hours, and then I'm gonna tell you what I really think at the end. So far, after application, this looks very, very natural. Today I'm also going to be trying out the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara in the color Pitch Black for like a year and a half now. My favorite concealer is this Morphe concealer, so we're just going to use this on top. Every product I use on my face today, I'm going to link it down below in the description bar, so if you're wondering what I use on my brows, what I use on my lips, it's all there. More lotion. You guys, Bath & Body Works is having their like semi-annual sale. If you need to stock up on lotion, Sweet Pea is a good choice. It's an old school, oldie but goodie. Very good choice. I love the way my room smells right now. The food's almost ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm about to go eat lunch, but I do want to spray my face with the setting spray that I would use. So since my makeup is not done yet, I didn't even do my eyelashes yet. So the sunlight in my house is pretty powerful. I still want to go outside. I just finished eating, so my makeup is not done whatsoever, but I wanted to show you guys that I sprayed my face with my normal setting spray before I decided to eat because my foundation is done. I just don't have on mascara, lashes, or lips yet. And also I just finished eating spicy food so my lips are like a little flushed. And in the sunlight in my house, this looks good. It looks really, really good. I'm a little oily here, but that's normal. I have some texture there and it does get a little glittery naturally. Um, I also don't love putting highlighter here, you guys, just in case you're new to my channel. Um, but up close, oh, the sun is going down. I have to go outside. I'll see you guys in a second. This little one needs to go outside. <laughs> so we're gonna go for a walk, aren't we? I'm going for a walk. Yeah. It's a pretty overcast day, but like I said, I was trying to get out here while the sun is still here. So this is how my face looks in the sun. You can still see where I have texture there. I can't believe I went outside with my hair like this. I'm impressed. It's been about two hours since I've had this on. So this is how I look. It is separating a tiny bit around my nose, which a lot of foundations do. I don't really have an opinion about that right now. Yeah, so 
It is now 5.50, so it's been three hours that I've been wearing this makeup. As you can see, all I've done is have lunch, walk the dog, and I have not finished my makeup or done my hair yet. And um, I just put on a little bit more eyeshadow because I realized I want to wear these really intense new Ardell Aqua lashes. So these are really intense. Before we apply the eyelashes, I'm going to use the mascara that I was telling you guys about earlier today. So this mascara does lengthening better than it does volumizing. My eyelashes have definitely been lengthened, so I'll take that. Not kidding, like I feel like a mermaid. <laughs> Although we just finished my makeup and I'm about to do my hair, I have been wearing the makeup for three hours. As you can see, around my nose, it still has a little bit of that separation. Um, that doesn't bother me a lot. It also did well with the bronzer, like it didn't move when I was buffing the bronzer in at all. So it is, what time is it? 7.57 on December 27th, same day. All right guys, so my hair is done. I ended up finishing my makeup. Let's zoom in so you can see what my makeup looks, at, looks like right now. It doesn't look like I've been sweating doing my hair it doesn't look like that okay so I have oily combination skin it's definitely starting to get a little bit oily here which is so normal if you look at a lot of my wear tests that happens to me I think it's my skin and the texture and all that stuff let's get closer so you noticed earlier I was telling you guys that around my nose I had around my nose Oh, hold on. It still looks the same around my nose. Under my eyes looks fine. Like there's no like extra creasing or anything. And I did put foundation very high on my face. And this powder, you guys remember that I used the Beauty Bakery powder for the first time today with this makeup look. And I think the powder is doing very well with my concealer my favorite concealer and also it's doing well with this foundation and I put it all over my face so so far you guys I like this foundation I don't know if I would like swap it out for the other one yet like for the matte made cover girl I don't know if which one I like better yet um, let's check back in at eight hours and I will have more to say it's 9:51. I'm just after seven hours and I actually am very tired. <laughs> My bedtime is like nine o'clock. So the fact that it's 10 o'clock is like a big deal for me. I was trying out the golden tan color of the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. This says that's full coverage and it would last 24 hours. Okay, so the difference right away for this foundation, which is the one that I tried out and did a wear test in, I think in the spring, so about eight months ago, that video is linked down below. Check it out if you're interested in this one. Um, the difference between this one and this one is nothing. I don't see a difference at all. Again, I have combination oily skin. I do suspect that because it's winter now, my face isn't as oily as it would be in the spring, that my face is a tiny bit more matte right now, but it's shiny in my regular shiny areas, which is my lower cheeks, my um, cheekbone right above here where I have texture. I think in the other one, I showed you a close up of my forehead also. It looked just like this. It still looks pretty good. There were some darker, some lighter of this and this one just seemed to be as close as possible. It is a tad bit lighter than this one, but I'm fine with this color. I think this color is fine for me, especially after I bronzed up and I put on my yellow powder. It's totally perfect for my skin. Again, this is the golden tan color. Around my nose, it is definitely creasing a little 
bit around my smile. So it looks the same as it did basically at hour five. I'm just a little bit more dewy. Now, <laughs> it does say that it's a 24 hour full coverage foundation. I did wear a mask a little bit because I went out, I went to Target, I went to Del Taco. <laughs> um, I did, and it's late and it was cold and my nose is a little bit runny now, but that's why I keep sniffling. But I wore a mask for a little bit. All of this did transfer a little bit on my mask. Um, you know that I put the setting spray, I put the powder on top and a little bit still did transfer. But even though like the mask was touching my nose, it was touching my chin, my lips. I feel like it didn't wipe off of my nose as much as it could have. This foundation does not feel heavy at all. I've been wearing it for seven hours. It feels like I'm wearing like a lightweight something on my skin, just like a moisturizer or a serum. So if you also have like dry skin, delicate skin, I still think this is gonna be fine for you. It doesn't feel like it's going to dry me out. So I actually recommend this for all skin types. I think that my skin type and testing foundations out on my skin type is like the tougher skin type to test it out on. And I think it's great if I like something because I do think that a lot of the times a lot of people are going to like it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave me a sweet comment down below. Give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. And also, if this product is available in your local drugstore or your Ulta or wherever it is, please write that in the description box down below so people know where to find it. Like I said, I couldn't find it online earlier and I couldn't find it today. So that was a couple days ago and I still can't find it anywhere online. So if this is in your area, please let us know. All right guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to check me out on all my social media handles and I'm gonna put those up on the screen to make it easier for you to read and remember. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you guys, bye. Thank you.